episode 92. Welcome to the Modern Vintage Podcast, the podcast where we take vintage principles and make them modern for today's leading ladies. I'm your host, Miss J. Hello, my leading ladies. Welcome back to the podcast. On this week's podcast, I felt it was important as your professor of glam and elegance to explain some of the terminology that is thrown around when it comes to modern vintage style. And what do we mean by modern? What do we mean by antique versus vintage versus retro versus repro? You'll see a lot of these terms being thrown about when it comes to vintage style or when you're shopping vintage style. And I felt it was important to define the terms for you. Not because I'm a true vintage purist, meaning I don't wear true vintage garments all the time. However, I do think it's important to know the terms so that you can shop intelligently. Remember, we do style and confidence around here, style and mindset work. And I believe that every woman should be armed with the tools to use both her beauty and her brains and shop intelligently. So knowing terminology is really crucial as you decide to perhaps expand your vintage style wardrobe or mix and match with your already existing modern pieces. You need to know what to look for and how to look for it. So let's define some terms. Antique. Antiques are anything that are 100 years or older. So when you shop in stores, at flea markets, or online, if the item is stated to be antique, it needs to be 100 years or older. And you need to ask questions to ensure that, because likely if something is called an antique, it comes with an antique price tag. Now, with regard to vintage items, that word is thrown around a lot. Sometimes it's used to mean vintage inspired, vintage style, but true vintage pieces. So you'll often see the hashtag true vintage on Instagram or other places. It means an item is 20 years old or older. Yes, that would mean things from the 90s are now qualified as vintage pieces. I know, be still my heart. But true, 20 years or older, that is the mark we're looking for. So if you see something and it's marked true vintage or vintage, you want to ask some questions about its date of origin to see if it's truly vintage or if it's just coming with a vintage markup. You want to ask questions. You want to know the date, where it came from, if you're buying in person Or if you're buying online, you want to read that description. You want to see if they take a picture of the tag. There's all kinds of telltale signs, the type of zipper it has, whether it's metal, whether it's plastic, whether it's a lap zipper insertion versus an invisible zipper insertion. These are all very technical things. But really, these will be some markers as to whether or not something is a vintage, whether it's something antique. And really, it comes down to the 100-year mark versus a 20-year mark. Now, there's also items that are called repro, reproduction items. Now, a reproduction item means we took a design or a pattern that is vintage, that is truly from the past, it's truly antique, and we reproduced something based upon an actual vintage or antique design or pattern. For example, with regard to sewing patterns, you'll see a lot of reproduction sewing patterns, meaning pattern companies like Simplicity, Butterick, McCall's, or Vogue, they went to their archives and took actual designs, actual patterns from the 50s, 60s, and 40s and reproduced them. Simplicity is actually creating modern packaging, modern envelopes for their reproduced vintage patterns. There are shoe companies that are dedicated to reproduction of actual vintage patterns and designs. Do you see the difference? It's a little nuanced. 
They're not actual vintage items. They're items that are being manufactured and produced today based upon a design or a pattern that is antique or vintage. That's why it's called a reproduction. Which brings me to the next term, retro. Now, a lot of things are considered retro. And it could be a rockabilly style, a pinup style. It could be kitschy style. Usually things that fall within the retro realm have lots of different names. But what we mean when we say retro, like she dresses retro, is we're saying that that woman or that person takes the style influences from the past and recreates them today, but not necessarily using vintage items or reproduction items. These are items that just have that vintage style flair. They're inspired by, influenced by, but they're neither an antique, they're not vintage in the true sense, and they're not a reproduction because they don't use an old pattern or design to manufacture something new today. They're just influenced by a certain era And then the garments or the items are created based upon that influence. Here's where I want to do a little mindset work. I don't want any of this terminology to turn you off. I don't want you to get stuck in all this jargon and semantics. What I do want is for you to be knowledgeable so you can shop intelligently, so you can have an intelligent conversation with someone who's selling you wares as either antique or vintage or repro. I want you to know what you're buying. But really, I want to inspire you to go ahead and try. Even if you're not going to wear true vintage, and for some of us who are of plus size and a certain plus size, it's going to be very hard to find true vintage in our size. So the next thing is you could try reproduction. You could reproduce garments yourself. In fact, one of the garments I was wearing today is not a reproduction. It's actually a modern pattern. It's the Myrna pattern from Seamwork. It's one of my favorite pattern companies. Now, what's interesting about them is that this was a modern pattern, but it was so beautiful. And I felt like this was truly inspired perhaps by 1940s dresses. So I style it in a vintage way. I wore a true vintage brooch with it. I set my hair in a 1940s style with pin curls. I wore a red lip and some more minimal makeup. So I had 1940s style makeup and hair with a modern pattern that I had made myself wearing true vintage accessories like my brooch. I was a little bit of a mix of modern and vintage and reproduction style all meshed into one to create my own modern vintage style. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Look at items you already own with that vintage eye. When you go shopping for true vintage items or reproduction items, I want you to be conversant in the language so that you can buy items that actually fill in necessary holes in your wardrobe so that you're up-leveling your game one item at a time that was thoughtfully and intelligently purchased. When I work with my clients, I don't overwhelm them and tell them, oh, time to go buy a whole new wardrobe. Like, why would I do that to anybody? I also don't just slap cute outfits on them without also doing the mindset work. So I know for some of you, this can seem a little daunting, a little scary. You may look at vintage photographs. You may look at vintage movies or beautiful pinup ladies online And then be intimidated and think, I could never look like that. I could never do that. It's too much work. It's too much effort. And if we get caught up a little bit too much in the terminology, you might hold yourself back from even trying. So I want to let you know, here are the terms. Good to know them. Now go have fun. Go play. Use this as a learning opportunity for curiosity and joy and playfulness, not as a learning opportunity to belittle yourself or berate yourself or tell yourself you can't do something. Stay in a place of curiosity. Stay in a place of dress up and fun. And then when you're ready, you can always up level. But for now, remember, we build beautiful wardrobes that fit one item at a time.
that's it for this week, my darling leading ladies. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to pick one item to play with to create your own version of a modern vintage style. You pick shoes, a new apron, a new hairdo, a new dress. One item. Using the new terms you learned, now go play. Miss J out. Thank you for listening. I hope you love today's show. If you're a leading lady with gumption and moxie and you're ready to get stylish, I recommend you go to judithgaton.com, J-U-D-I-T-H-G-A-T-O-N.com. Once you are on the website, you can access my free style class just for leading ladies. All right, let's get it. Miss J out.